Hi guys, Phil here from The Mindful Mover, and today we're going to talk about another exercise that you can use in your training program. That exercise is the Nordic Leg Curl. Let's jump in. Now, the Nordic Leg Curl is not actually part of our big five strength exercises, but we like to include it. Why? Well, the reason is that it gives some gains that our big five strength exercises don't actually give. Our big five strength exercises give carryover to a lot of other exercises, but the Nordic Leg Curl is not one of them. So it might be worth your time to include the Nordic Leg Curl into your programming to get a little bit extra gains, something that you wouldn't normally get in the big five. So now that we understand the why, let's go over the how. What you're going to do is start off by anchoring your feet under something very sturdy. Make sure that whatever you anchor your feet under is tough and strong and it won't move during the exercise so you don't hurt yourself. You'll also want to place something soft under your knees so that your kneecaps can move a little bit more freely and they won't hurt during the exercise. Last, you'll probably want something soft for your face, something like a pillow that'll slide along the ground. Once you're all anchored in, you're going to lay flat on the ground and then from there, start curling with your hamstrings. Now, unless you're super, super strong already, you won't actually be able to move very much. That's okay. What you're gonna do is allow your hips to pike or flex a little bit until you're able to achieve liftoff. Once you achieve liftoff, try to extend your hips and get into a straight position as soon as possible, and then continue to curl all the way up to the top of the move. Step two, we're just gonna reverse that. So we're gonna lower down as straight as possible, as long as possible. Now, eventually you're going to hit a point where you feel like if you go one more centimeter, you're going to drop and face plant to the ground. When that happens, pike your hips and flex so that you can bring your face slowly down to the ground. Once it hits the pillow, you can slide forward until you achieve the full range of motion and you're laying flat on the ground at the bottom. And there you have it. That's your Nordic Leg Curl. You can perform it for reps and enjoy the wonderful hamstring and calf cramps that come afterwards. So as always, let's go over some key notes to make sure that this exercise goes as well as possible. Key note number one, make sure that you have a grinding concentric. So on the way up, make sure that you curl the hips as minimally as possible. That's essential for making sure that your body works as hard as possible to get yourself into the air. Keynote number two, no dropping during the eccentric. So as you're lowering down, try to make sure that you don't hit that point where you drop onto your hands or worse, onto your face. Make sure that you lower down as slow as you can go. When you reach the point where if you go one more inch, you're going to fall. That's where you pike your hips and lower your face down slowly towards the ground. That way you get the most tension out of the eccentric possible. Again, make sure you don't drop, you'll end up losing gains and you'll probably feel some pain in the hands or the face, both of those are Keynote number three, the top of the movement will eventually get kind of easy. And when that part gets easy, what you can do is pull yourself up the same way like you did in the concentric. And then when you reach near the top, you can grab an object and hold your arms in front of you. And by doing that, you'll increase the load and you'll make the movement difficult at the top of the movement as well. And there you have it. That's how to perform a Nordic leg curl. And this is just one variation that we use. We have a couple others that we'll put in future videos. So stay tuned for those. Add it to your program and get aboard the game train. Woo woo.